Hi, you've got with me uh, Nick Collins, uh, Chairman of Abbey Musical Society. How are you doing, mate? Okay, thanks, Russ. Yeah, good to you. Yeah, I'm fine. You're fine. Uh, uh, how's things going? I mean, I was one of the privileged few to see the one and only production of Shrek. And uh, I tell you what, mate, it'd be a goddamn awful shame if uh, that was the one and only production because you're putting so much effort. It really was very, very good. Uh, have you got any updates on that? Yeah, um, after speaking to the rights holders, uh, we have rebooked the show for March 2022. Brilliant. Yeah. Now, yeah. They, they were brilliant with us. They said, yeah, no problem. We can move it. Now, we've already got a show booked for next year. So, we didn't want to lose that one. And we thought doing 12 months of one show and then doing 12 months of the same show straight after might have been a bit much. So, right. to have one gap in the middle, just for the people rehearsing week after week. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's big. It's bright. It's green in March 2022. Right, so what about your other shows? Because I think uh, 42nd Street, uh, Little Shop, whereabouts are they in the pecking order? Well, Little Shop was supposed to be last week, yep. so that was obviously cancelled. We are due to start back in September, which is for 42nd Street in March. Now, along with the rest of the UK, I haven't got a clue what, I'm gonna, what we're going to be doing in September. Um, there will come a point between September and Christmas, where if we start back, we will be able to do the show. Once it gets past a certain date, it's going to be too late. I don't know what that date is. Yeah. And so I have no idea. It's still booked to go ahead, but whether it happens or not, I honestly don't know. So the forum are taking bookings, because I was talking to Bob Needham last week, and the Coro have not taken anything up to uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, and they're not taking bookings beyond. So the forum are a little bit more flexible, are they? The forum have been brilliant, to be fair. I mean, we've booked, we already have 42nd Street booked in anyway for March, and then we're doing Sunshine on Leith in July next year, and that's already booked in. The forum have allowed us to book Shrek for 2022. Um, it might take them a day or two to get back to you, but to be fair, they've been brilliant. Brilliant, absolutely great. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, one of the biggest problems when you do start up again in September is is one we've we've talked about quite a few times. This the rehearsals because uh, singing is still considered uh, high risk for contracting COVID. Uh, have you have you thought of any solutions? Have you come up with anything to start rehearsals? The solutions a lot of people come up with is Zoom or that type of rehearsal, but. I honestly, I'm struggling to see it work for more than a week or two of people maybe getting together. I mean, we've done quizzes and various meetings over yeah. Zoom, but for me, a rehearsal just is not going to work over Zoom. So until you can really start going back together, I'm struggling to see anything with any longevity of working, to be fair. Right, uh, which leads me on to the next question. Say we get past that stage, uh, we get to a dressing rooms and more latterly the beloved audience because I mean Abbey musical shows sell, sell so well but what if, if are the forum talking of uh, socially distancing the audience or, or have we got to go cabaret seating I've had no indication off the forum what they will do but to be fair I haven't asked either unless we can get at least three quarters of a house in it's not worth doing. I mean, to do a show, at the start of planning a show, if you know it's going to be cabaret from day one, you can set your business model up to make cabaret commercially viable. If you're going for a full house of 450 people, then obviously your costs are different. So it's difficult to go from one type of show to another. And... For me, cabaret seating it doesn't work for the type of musical show. It works for concerts, great, but for a show, I don't see it. I think 
in my opinion, it's only my opinion, you need to be able to get a full audience in. You really do. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm going I'm going around all the different societies, you know, try to gather some sort of opinion because, I mean, uh, I mean, you've got a full schedule ahead uh, and uh, you've, you've got a plan. I mean, I mean, only performing the one performance of Shrek must have been heartbreaking because you put in so much work. I know you did. It was a strange thing, really. I mean, Shrek was... Normally, we start in September, and you maybe had the show a couple of months before, and you put it on in March. Shrek, we had, we'd have for two years. Yeah. We'd planned for a year, and we'd put it together for another year. And I think back to a couple of years ago when we did Barnum, and obviously Bondi had the incident, and he wasn't able to perform Barnum anymore. And I thought, that's the worst thing that could possibly happen to us in musical theatre as a society. And I was so wrong because what happened for Shrek was just, it was a brilliant time, but it was also the worst time. Yeah. I remember on the Thursday before, myself and Russ Brown putting the set in the van and then watching the Cobra meeting thinking, are we even going to be able to turn up at the forum tonight? Is it going to be stopped? And yeah. that said, it can carry on. We carried on all weekend. On the Monday night of the show, five o'clock, sat in the forum bar watching the press conference and Boris saw whoever was on at the time coming out and saying, I advise not to go to musical theatre, not to go to a theatre, but it's not compulsory. So you've then got half the audience turn up brilliant, want to watch it. The other half, or a bit less than that, saying, well, I'm not coming, I want my money back. But then we can't cancel or give money back because we haven't been cancelled on, so we can't claim on the insurance. No. And it's just, it was an awful time. I mean, yeah. we've still not rectified our insurance claim. I right. mean, a lot of people have been doing insurance and up on, you know as well as I do, up until a week or two before your show, apart from a deposit, a couple of deposits, rehearsal space, you've not really spent any money. As soon as you walk in that theatre, you've a raft of bills need paying. And we did one performance. So you can argue the show technically wasn't abandoned. It was cancelled mid-run. And that alters the whole parameters of all how the insurance works, unbeknownst to me. And I think it's a lesson for us. And I, I, I know more societies in this area will probably use the same insurance provider as I do and have the same insurance as I do. And yeah. from what I've learned, it, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And anyone out there who is running their amateur society and wants advice on the insurance issues, if you have to cancel a show mid-run, I suggest you give me a message because I'll open your eyes to what you can and can't do. It's scary. Yeah. I, I, you've got my sympathies, mate, because because uh, it just couldn't have come at a worse time for you, could it? <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, So let, let's just go through that again. So you're hoping to start again in September, hopefully, and that's for 42nd Street, yeah? Yeah, I mean, whether we start September, October, November, yeah. we don't know. And it's a, that's a movable thing, that really. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, another fantastic that's musical that. for you. I mean, you do, you do have, uh, you have put on some pretty decent stuff the last few years, mate. I like to think so, yeah. I like to think so. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, absolutely brilliant talking to you. Do you want to give a message to the members of Abbey? I mean, I know you've been keeping in contact, and actually you produced, produced a music video, didn't you, early on in this uh, crisis? Yeah, we did, like, um, we have our own cast Facebook group, and we, we've done numerous quizzes um, on there with various different members taking part. We put together an isolation concert where people just randomly videoed themselves performing a song of their choice. We just edited it together and put it out this slot there now somewhere. Um, and, yeah, people keeping in touch, all the members updated on there, so they all sort of know what's going on. Yeah. This is our, the summer holidays now, is our time where we're not actually together normally. Yeah. Um, so let's see what's happening in September and we'll go from there, really. Well, I wish you all the very best, mate, and uh, let's hope uh, we are talking about starting something, as you say, in September or on October. Absolutely lovely to talk to you, mate, and uh, looking forward to uh, whatever Abby produced next. Thank uh, you. Cheers, Russ.